Oh, why don't Norbies care about us? Oh, I don't know, maybe because people have tried reaching out to you guys before, but oh boo hoo, my frickin' height! Hello everybody and welcome back to another video for the day. We are heading back into r slash night er Hello everybody and welcome back to another video for the day. We are heading back into r slash incel tier, so get your echo chamber helmets on because we're diving right into this. So, you know, if you guys would like to be absolutely amazing, show your support and see more videos like this one in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up the wholesome internet discussions, and if you guys have not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. And if you guys would like to save 10% with your next order of gamer sub, to use code Tommy at checkout or check out the link down below. We got weekly releases and it supports the channel. Why do they think it is okay to pick on us? To push us to the ground when we didn't do anything? You think that Coochie is a right like freedom of speech? No, do people realize the mistreatment they gave us made us become the way that we are? All they did was say no. It's like how a dog becomes aggressive due to amounts of this. They just said no. And it's a normal human reaction to become miserable and depressed when your life is absolute dookie. All she did was say that she didn't want to touch it. And when you try to change, nothing ever gets better because you don't want to do anything to change that actually is a positive change. But normies don't care or stop what they are doing. After they find out it is their fault for someone's this or that, they say they should have gotten a psychologist or something or get over it. I honestly think they need someone to belittle since they are insecure due to not getting a Stacy all the time. They need someone to feel superior over. They are sociopaths who want anyone they don't think fits their standards to die or to do something horrible. No, Dingus, that is not how that works. For some reason, you think that being a pissy little shit and whining and crying about not getting any of the coochie uh, is very much the reasonable thing to do, which... It very much not, but it's easier for me to teach a brick wall Spanish than it is for me to get that point across to you. Or anybody. Uh, the biological weapons that they put in our food and water and air conditioner have testosterone inhibitors. What the crap are they putting in the AC? For men and cause them to not grow taller. Whereas it helps women grow taller and stronger. There is a biological warfare against men. Uh, no, oh, shit, there's Nat, uh, what, the, what the frick do you think they're putting in the AC, and why do you think that affects your height? I realized my mom had me at 25. This could explain my cause of inseldom and autism. Because you know how freaking old 25 is? Probably not too far off in age from your dumb butt. The fly body is already rotten beyond a pair at that point of being 25. My mom met my oldest brother at 19, where her reproductive state was at her prime. And my second oldest brother at 21, just barely before her reproductive organs began the process of rotting. And she had to have me when she, I, she was already rotten so badly, which contributed to my inseldom and my autism. To wrap this up, by law, Floyds should be castrated by 23. At that point, the risk of autism and many other disabilities heavily increase at that point, and it would be extremely selfish of Floyds to have kids at such an old age. Saying that 25 is old for somebody has me honestly thinking two things. First off, you're probably not old enough to be on a site like this. So, you know, go, go to sleep. You probably got school in the morning. Secondly, I really wish your parents knew that you were typing this so that they could ground your butt. No going out, except, like I said before, to school. No, no going on the internet. Yeah, that's not how it works. It's not Mostly about genetics, but also the environmental aspect that caused people to not reach their genetic potential. Ah, then please, explain to me how it works. I'm very interested in your thought process. Well, what you eat has to do with height, and this is proven scientifically. 
The endocrinologists refuse to give me HGH, and the second one lied to me and gave me useless vitamins. I am the third shortest guy in my family. Okay, but you mentioned food, not vitamins. Also, if food has absolutely everything to do with height, why would we have such drastically different heights across the globe? How could someone be six foot eight in Croatia and someone but five foot two in America? Truth is, food just helps keep you alive. Yes, eating right helps you become healthy and makes you strong, but all around the world and within different cultures, whether you are rich or poor, we eat differently. You could have a poor man be over six foot, but a rich kid who has access to higher quality food is left under that mark. How does that equate? Now, height is a part of physical development. Height objectively makes a guy more attractive. Wider wrists, wider shoulders, wider and forwardly grown jaws. I ah, yes, you know, your jaw is definitely determined by your height. That makes a lot of frickin' nothing. Underdeveloped men lack these traits, making them less attractive and weak. Weak equals less attractive. Short equals less attractive and narrow jaws. Then, quit being a soy boy and eat more protein. I don't know what to tell you, man, but food isn't making women taller and it's not making men shorter. That was your original statement. I don't really care because I'm not invested in what I look like. It is making men shorter by preventing them from reaching their height potential. And I just explained to you, but you're stupid enough to think that height isn't part of development. Maybe if women stopped voting for politicians that poison our food, there wouldn't be any soy boys. We shouldn't let Jewish companies touch our food. Of course you're not invested in what you look like, because this society doesn't shame women for their height. Yes, they do. Might I introduce you to... All women. You shouldn't be devalued because of your height. Your height is something that is not in your control. It's literally something set up by your genetics. And anybody happen to be thinking of you less of that, whether or not you be a shorter guy or a taller woman, that does not make them any better of a person. If anything, judging somebody strictly off of their height, saying that tall women or short dude equals bad, then they are pretty much just putting themselves in a bad light. Just don't hang around people like that. That is like a red flag. Women are literally the most privileged people to have ever existed. Women literally spend their whole lives never having to work for anything. They don't need to get a job because daddy and their boyfriend slash husband finances their whole life. The only reason they even go to college is to be a W. They never are lonely because they have thousands of men and women willing to interact with them on a daily basis. Any woman, no matter what she looks or acts like, can go outside for less than five minutes and get a boyfriend and hundreds of friends instantly. On top of all of that, the entire world bends over backwards for women. A woman could follow s and scrape her knee and have hundreds of people checking on her and asking if she is okay. If a guy were to fall and scrape his knee, no one would even care. The only time women have any problems is not being able to choose which chad they should spread their legs for tonight. Why wouldn't you cheat as a chad? Because cheating overall is trash, and if you do it, I do not like you. If every void is the same, and has the same hive mind, why wouldn't you cheat on all of these W's? They all go for the same guys anyways, so shouldn't the blame fall on them for creating this problem in the first place? Neff these W's, man. What useless waste of life it is. No wonder we laugh at them. Ain't that last two sentences ironic? Pathetic creatures. This is too kind to them. They genuinely deserve to suffer beyond comprehension for what they have done. Ah uh, yes, you know, the crime of 
yeah, existing. But with that, that is going to have to be it with the video. If you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support and see more videos like this one in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below to start up them wholesome internet discussions, and if you guys have not already, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. Also, check out one of the videos in the end card. You might find something you like. But I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye-bye.